All right, fellow mates, welcome back again. This YouTube channel, Captain Coach RJ. Today we will have a good practical discussions regarding word load line and the freeboard tables, which usually we can find in the ship's particular and that from ship's particular the details okay, we take from the stability booklet or manual now to give you quick presentations the applications of word load line and the freeboard tables when we prepare the pre or pre storage plan from the voyage instructions and why we need to know okay the load lines regulations as part of restrictions limitations throughout the voyage now the world load line chart looks like this you can find this on the bridge and please take time to explore or read the instructions okay there and of course the color codes okay designated with uh, seasonal areas okay summer zone tropical zone and we have also you know winter summer winter and so forth now i will not read a lot about these descriptions here but there are seasonal areas that you need to know which month seasonals are applied okay when you load in this area or these locations you have to refer to the load line chart okay here so when you load here you are summer and you discharge in china for example or part of the the world that okay using the same seasonal zone and of course from summer zone to tropical zone to winter to uh, north atlantic winter seasonal zone and so forth depends on the area where you load or discharge the cargo but please be careful even when you pass from summer and you are passing tropical and then you destination or your discharge port will be summer then you have to consider which is more limited or limitations or restrictions you consider when you prepare the pre storage plan okay now the load lines for example here this part practically on board you can find this this on the ship sides okay all these markings this is the reason as best practices that we need to refresh as much as possible to be visible on these markings okay this is class items pc also is considering this as deficiencies okay now we'll go back to the applications of the freeboard tables all right now based on the hydrostatic table we have on board okay specifically five cargo holds seven cargo holds nine cargo holds and so forth you have standard freeboard tables okay this is a marking and this is the you know the the, the clear um okay abbreviation from the markings abbreviation from the freeboard tables like tropical fresh water 
fresh water, tropical summer and winter. There is also a displacement and the dead weight. And of course the draft and the free world. For example, the design of the vessel, okay, we have the standard 1.025 summer. The brave world will be 5.35 and the drop summer is 13.841 and your displacement is 85.838 minus the light shape this will be the dead weight and so forth now to calculate maximum cargo to load in summer zones okay for example summer load port and you proceed to summer zone discharge port so you have only consider the freeboard tables with summer maximum drop 13.841 no more than that and your maximum displacement will be this and your dead weight minus your consumables total consumables that will be your maximum cargo okay now Farther explanations when you load from summer and then you proceed to tropical or fresh water, then you are allowed. Okay, you have to assess that when you arrive in the fresh water, you are allowed to load at the maximum draft with 14.159. Okay, and the displacement will be like this and of course 75114 minus your total consumables that will be your cargo okay now in the relationship between fresh and summer we have what we call a uh, in the hydrostatic or in the ship's particular we have fresh water allowance where we get the fresh water allowance in um, millimeters of course all you need to do is you have to deduct the fresh water draft here okay or even here you deduct from your fresh water to summer that will be your fresh water allowance, okay? You just multiply it by, be converted into millimeters, okay? And if you divide it into 1,000 millimeters, you will get in meters. That will be your fresh water allowance, okay? You load in summer, density is 1.025, and then you pass a fresh water you are allowed only for 14.159 okay i hope that this uh, very quick presentation my fellow mates you will get the idea okay now the load line is international rules or regulations that we need to consider and must be followed in some ports there are port state or even a pilot we look over our draft okay and when we are overdraft or overload then we will have a big trouble and that is the reason why we need to consider and understand your framework tables your allowable maximum draft as per the load lines okay i hope that you will explore more and you read more about load lines this is only a practical um, you know, idea when considering a planning uh, maximum cargo to load this is Coach Arjo. Once again, thank you for listening and watching. Bye.